Hello everyone, we're back at Acorn. We were here yesterday, we are here again today, we've drawn on the island, Peg 3, an area that I've been in for quite some time. Tony came second off this peg yesterday in our match yesterday. He nicked it off me, and one fish at the end, fair play to him. So I'm looking to have a good result of here today if I can. Tony didn't catch till late, so I need to bear that in mind. Well, I'm probably fishing it quite different to how Tony fished it. Tony fishes different to me. There's quite a few more anglers on it today. There's people all around the venue. Probably more like 16. I'll have to have a look. I'm sure a lot of 50, at least 15 or 16, maybe more. And we've got just all the way around here, just behind me in the corner there. Just there. That's their ship chatting to some, some of the locals. Oh, no, he's not there. That's why I'm pointing at nobody. But he is. He should be there. You know, there he is. Let me see him. He is. I need a muffin tip there. He's chatting to a young angler who fishes here, Freddy. Giving him some tips, I imagine. Alright, guys. So it's peg free, Tuesday affordable. Let's see how we go on. Right, everyone, the all in has just sounded. Just put a small pot of maggots, pinkies, down near the shelf to my right. And going over with double maggot, just like we did yesterday, into some of the areas that I've pre plumbed so I know what depth we're at. And we'll see what we're doing now. I'm not as confident today. Tony was here yesterday, very, very good angler. He dobbed and didn't catch early, so very good chance that I won't catch either. But all we can do is try. I've got half a feeling this might be too negative today. Um, there's a lot of fish moving around, the weather's been mild, but and it's easy to get carried away and think, well, the fishing's going to go mad, but you know, there's a lot of a lot of volume of water here for it to expect it to have warmed up any. It's probably unreasonable. Definitely a slower start than yesterday on peg 13. You know, I'd have had two by now. The next to me is up one. I think he tapped a bit of bait in, so that's worth keeping an eye on. So the early optimism is waning already. <laughs> Well, this is fishing, you've got to work out what's happening each day. If you expect it to be the same two days in a row, then you'll be sadly disappointed. And Acorn is particularly strange for just results popping up all over the place. I have to switch to bread at the moment. So, I'm on the maggot, because last time when I fished the bread, it was just too, it was too good and the roach were at it straight away, but it's not as good. I think it's not as good today. There'll be not as many small fish in this area as there is on the back straight there. I think we missed another indication. Checking the bait, looks good. The next to him has gone in, he's tap bait in again, so I'll just see what he's uh He might get a couple of early fish and then he might finish him off putting bait in, but he might get a run in which case I can follow suit. That's my first indication guys, it's taken ten minutes. It's taken ten minutes and we've got one. And we've lost him. Oh, look, I suspect. Spread the shot out. Give us a better fall. Mm-hmm. 
12 o'clock, so we've been fishing for two hours. So I came away from the far edge, not because I weren't catching, but I was just sort of weren't happy with what I was catching. Huh? Just, well, I've just had this tench. It's a tench, this is. Um, yeah, so I've just come off, off the uh, far edge. It was just too many foul lockers and it weren't right. And I've... Um, come short and I'd had a little go on the on the maggot and I've caught a couple of skimmers and just roaching them and a couple of perch as well actually but whilst I've been doing that I just put some pellet in at the bottom of the far slope and I've just gone over it and had a skimmer And then I've just gone over it there and had a, a tench as soon as it's gone in. So I'm just, so because I'm catching on it straight away, I've just started topping it up with pellet. Just tapping in a few pellets. I can catch dobbing, but I'll just fail looking like nine, nine fish for every one I get properly. There's no. Just foul looking loads over there. Just do me head in. You're not fancying your chances of doing four, 38 pound of silvers again then? You're not going to be doing 38 pound of silvers today then? <laughs> Ten past twelve now. I've had a, I've had three skimmers in a tench off this line now. Just dropping in four or five pellets on top. Just feeling like if I catch a fish, then I should put four or five pellets on. So it feels like that's you know reasonable. I took a fish out of the swim, so he must have eaten some bait. Being down there, and um, at the moment it's slow and steady. So. In the, I'm catching this the fish, but I'm not. It's not fast and furious. Um, but there's no stupid little bites or indication there. Like it's just nice, clean. When I get a bite, it goes under, which is what you you know, kind of what you're looking for when you're fishing for quality <coughs> silverfish. You don't want sometimes you're getting bits and bubbles or something stuck to that as soon as it's gone in there. Me out a little bit, I don't float still sitting quite high. Yeah, something might have had that settled them. I was talking to you guys, but it's settled again down again now. Yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, so <coughs> the bikes are kind of like just let the float settle nicely, just sit and wait for a minute or two. Floats under like that, and clump it one. And it's the first one I've missed now. I've said that, but you see, I've jinxed it. <coughs> Could have been a line bite, could be some, it could be just odd carton, you know, rushing in and around. Try not to do anything that would encourage any fish to come up off the bottom. 
I'm only feeding little pinches of bait, but it's not like I'm doing it super regular. Right, I've decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to top this up. Put some more micros and small pellet in. I'll fish over the top up for the, just for a couple of minutes just to see if it has any effect. Now I can try something else. field day. Trying to have me bloody feed. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm what I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm definitely gonna have a dob. I'm just gonna let this set for a minute. I'm gonna have a dob. Let's have a little dob on. Dobbing all, probably dobbing all day sometimes when it's hard like this is you can just end up dobbing it out. Okay, give it a rest sometimes. And we're dobbing it, there it is. Try with some bread. I feel like bread might be the way to go. Bread's been the, the winner today on dobbing. No reason to assume that's changed for it. Anything. It's not come off that number four section. And then straight out into the kill zone. That's in a section. fish here before so we'll just try and dob in there again see if we can nick one probably get a bite for roach first put and try the bed off mm -hmm. oh, roach, it was a carpy seemed to be very very shallow the carp there right there Another one. Spooked him. Over there. Loads of them over there. I'm going to try coming off the bottom. I tried dobbing ridiculously shallow. I feel like the fish are very close to the surface. Try like a foot deep. I had this thought earlier on. I weren't sure. I was going to check that bread don't sink the float. Bread don't sink full stop at the moment. <laughs> we ship all the way out there and find out that bread's sinking the float. Oh, the, it's not going to last. There's loads of tip showing. So the weight of the bread's going to pull it down a bit, but it's not going to sink that. That's what I wanted. Pull the back shot down a little bit. I'll come in the middle if I can. 
and bread's come off now. <laughs> That's what happens if you faff about with wet bread on your rock. Right, I feel like I'm out. Oh, Christ, the ball. Third time lucky on the bread punch. I feel like I need to catch one quickly. I need to go back over that. But, uh, in it again. A fresher slice of bread, that one's gone a bit dry. It's a bit floaty. See if we can get him out there, right? And coming off, should be able to. This will be interesting, won't it? See what happens now. Right, there were we'll fish over there, we'll put it straight in amongst them. There's been fish sort of sitting in that area all day. So the question now is can we get them to find out what depth they're at? Maybe we'll have to just keep tweaking it deeper until we get some bites. Of the bread just pulled it down nice. Come on, but there's a fish on. Has he had that shallow? Why he's fighting suggests that he has had it shallow. He suggests that he's had it. Properly, because he's just come away nicely. He's not bolted off thinking they've been knocked in the side. And this is a game changer. I didn't do this is how I normally start, but I didn't do this because after yesterday, and I caught more on the deck, so I thought I'd use the knowledge I gained yesterday when I was fishing here. And now I've hooked one really, really shallow. Isn't that interesting? Mm, wiggling a bit. He's coming, he's, he's fighting far too easily to be anything except poppy hooked. It's a big fish, this is. It's got some weight to it. See, it's definitely a big fish. Look how much water it's just moved. The other ones we want, they're going to put them right in the frame. Bad boys, goes right back into the action. I actually hooked him just outside the mouth. He's um, eight, I'd say. He just doubled. He just doubled my way, my, my way to carp. Well, that's uh, interesting, isn't it? Right, guys, it's 20 past one. Well, not 10 past one. Fish until three, I think. So I've got just over, just under two hours. I had all my lines, messed them out, doing lots and lots of different things, and nothing's working. I have nicked odd fish off lines, roach and skimmers and tench, but I think you need, I needed to just sit and fish properly if I was gonna fish for silvers or match, you know what I mean? Not just flitting about. I just thought I'd try and find something that might work and then work at it, but nothing's working. So I mean, you know, I'm just messing about, working out. I to if I can flick some maggots at that far bank, which I've already already done and missed a bite ready. Put a shot back on, I think, and get on my rig. I'm just gonna get my eye and ping a few maggots for sure for the island. And me fishing up to the island, so the odd ones go into the island, and they'll be the ones I'm fishing next to. And then hopefully, I'll nick a few fish. I'm also just going to feed it here. Some miles off. That's better. Just where the um, where 
Don't know if you know what else. Try and make some flag in there. It's nice. feed because I, I just feel like there's carp about but they're just not getting their heads down maybe if they see a bit of bait going in they're not mooching about for some maggots on the bottom I can nick a couple nice one it oh I'm running straight away hey bees look at that mind numbing mind bending but these fish are not on the bottom in that depth of water just put me bait out there and then just stick in the rigging Get knocked down. Yeah, we're not got a lot to say today, guys. I'm not really. Just not feeling it today. Finding it hard work. Sort of get excited about any of my swims. It's interesting once I've started throwing some maggots in. Two fish in two puts. Is it a coincidence? Take my time a bit more with this one. You want a bit of bait? Mm -hmm. A little loose feed. He's coming straight into me. Please be up properly. If he's up properly, then maybe when I was saying I'm not feeling anything, this might be about to change. Let's have a look where they looked. Fair and square in the chops. Preferred go to look bait, and if it's because under I stay on it, so quite often it just does because I don't feel like I feel like if I'm maggots, I'm maggots, and whatever your favourite colours are, whatever your favourite colours are. But yeah, so let's see if we can't put all the carp together and get ourselves back into some sort of respectable position on this match today. That was a nice clean bite. Maybe the last one was a proper bite and I just pulled out of it. I just assumed it was a foul look, but maybe I was pulling too hard. These, they are soft mouth, these um, little carp. So I'll turn the cameras on quickly because we've got ourselves a nice little bonus lump. Over on the maggot. Well, I'm feeding them maggots on that far bank swim. Couldn't just keep getting. Oh, look, I saw one over with a bit of bread on. And he's had it. 
Dog ten pounder. Get these boys feeding and we're all right. We can get back into this. We need like four or five of these and we'll be we'll have a wait. You spat the yuck out. He was definitely properly hot. Oh, yeah. Still crap on the lens, isn't there? Yeah. Get myself another eight pound for him. So, where were we? We were. Still doing every, still feeding this line short down to my right, hoping that at some point it comes good, even if it's just for four or five F1s or something. Some big skimmers or whatever we can get our hands on. Um, we're still pinging over. Nugget. We've gone over there with a nugget on. Just foul locked a couple and lost them, only small ones, but I'm foul locking them and losing them, which I still want to do. Blah, blah, blah. I feel like these maggots I'm loose feeding might be getting fish in the area, but just trying to give it one loose feed before I ship out. But what I, uh, what I really want is for my weight to be standing out in amongst all that feed. So I thought I'll put the weight back on so I can. Those big old lumbering. Um, I was going to say commons, but he was a ghosty really, wasn't he? But you know, them sort of common ghost and that sort of those are common ghosty. And we commons in here, they just love it. They have that, if they're about, they have that red. It's just trying to. It's already there playing around with the bread. Just trying to make for positive bites because it's striking it off. Yeah, just keep striking us, just keep waiting for positive bites, just gonna keep pinging bait over. But something's changed, whether it's me just rested it, I was fishing the other lines, whether this pinging the bait is what's doing it. Ooh, if that's a liner, it'll be a liner that because that fish is really flowing off. Just lifted the float out of the water a little bit because it had a little dink on the float. Just to see if I could strike, hook something without uh, losing the bread. And yeah, she's definitely foul, look, this is. It's pelting around. I'll over the shot. It could be like just a wampy four pound of yesterday. Some of the fish that were up to the mouth are fighting this aren't but today. That hasn't been the case, but let's see, let's see if he's, he's come right in for us. Get that off before he snaps something. Right, let's see what we've got. It could be a very big fish that's a bit more energetic than the last one, but I'm not holding out my tube. I think he's a foul looker all day long. But I'm not the only one foul looking fish again today. The guys down there next to me, they've all foul look fish, lost fish. Paul next to me is fishing for silvers. He's, he's looked for a massive carp today, foul looked. Much to his dismay on his silvers kit. It's a smallish calf out in the belly. Oh, we might have missed him slightly. I just need to, he's up towards the tail end a bit. Oh, he is under the belly. We can't. I'll get him. He's a nice little three pounder, two pounder. Mm. 
I must not forget to feed my uh, short line. Back on the bread. It's definitely been a bread day today. It's, the bread has definitely outperformed the maggot on the dobbin. No doubt about that. Let's get that crap off there. Get some shots down the line again. Got a bit of a nasty thing in there, got a bit of a. Oh, well, not some of them. This is not good because my bread's going to get too wet to ship out in a second. Give it a pink for a ship actually gives them maggots enough time to get to the deck before I get out of there. That's my theory. So if there's any fish that are flying about all over the swim trying to intercept them, uh, they should have settled down because I've had them already. It's only shallow, remember. I yeah, know that maggots sink slowly, but they don't sink that slowly. So you should be in the deck by now, so that means everything's settled and I can just I mean, I can feed holding the pond, and I will if I don't get a bite for a while. That's what I've been doing. I've been sitting up a bit higher, and I've lost a shot. No, that was cut. Oh no, it's settled down there. It's just the bread taking its time. It's what we want. Not that bread sinking down slow. Go and grab the attention of a big munter. It's in there, picking, trying to pick up them maggots, and he's like, oh. Can't resist that uh, big succulent piece of bread. Sucks it in on. Oh, what happened right in front of us? Right in front of my eyes. <laughs> Small one. Small one it is. Little, 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 little stocky. Little stocky. I'm taking these little stockies in between them, can't because this are. You know, not quite a pound this one, but a lot of them are over a pound. Some sort of bracket. Well, I'd say that bread's trans transformed this one. Bread and punching up and uh, pinging in some maggots has made a difference. No doubt about that. Pinging in many baits just just gets a few fish in the area interested in what's going on, doesn't it? Quite a lot of the baits landing short, but that's what you want. So that the, the bait that's at the back. Ah, oh, my bread's gone off again. I need to get, I'm get me a fresher slice out the bag. This is the third time this bread's been out now, it's probably past its best. If I'm lucky, I'll be able to save it for Thursday. Well, I've had four matches out of one loaf of bread, so it's a bargain really, and I've caught a lot of fish on the bread, and then four matches, so... Let's get out there quick for them maggots lose their effectiveness. Right out of rhythm. Still there, reaching about looking for some maguars. And he sees my beautiful lump of bread and can't help himself. Line up. Awesome, still there. Is that it? Well, hopefully, 
just going to continue and you can get right back into the action now. And this looks like it might be another decent one. So, by the way, it's fighting its hooked properly. It's just come straight in, waddles back towards you, and put a wallows around in front of you, pops up, and he's on. Yeah, that's, that's how you know they're in the, that's how you know they're in the gob. Himself four for him. I feel like he's four. I'm trying to get into a rhythm now where I come back, feed me veg line, make me hook. Top kit on it, show me, make sure me pallet of bread is sinking, and then just ping out one nice pinch of maggot right to the spot there we're catching them. Ship out and up one. You can keep that routine going. I might have to switch it around a bit with the bread because it's getting very soft coming, but now I'll change to a new slice, it seems to just the freshness of the breast is ma massive, and now while it stays on the hook. That slice has been out. That other slice had been out on the side of the box for a couple of hours, and the rain's been on it. It's dried out. It's got wet again, and it's been a lot of drizzled on. And you name it, it's happened to it. Poor thing. So I put a fresh slice out, and the last two have been on a lot better. Sink a bit, sink easier when you squeeze them, and um, so just stay on a bit better, but still puff up nicely. It's a little one, I think, this time. Oh, I can't believe the difference this is making. Can't believe the difference this is making. Look at two different swims. A little, little sweetie pie. Look at these beautifully formed little carpets. All bred in the main lake. So they're all due, they're all got twenty pound mummy and daddies, so they've got a chance of being good fish. They get older. What's happened here? The rubbers have come off my flute. Camera running for quite a bit. I'll probably edit some of it out, so it's not like ages for you guys. But you get the gist of what's going on. This hasn't been like this for very long. I've had four or five fish doing this, but it's been completely different. Just pinging a few baits. First time today. Feel like this is right. And it might be time of day. It might be short-lived burst of fish, and then it's gone. It might be just because I've rested it, but it feels like this is right now at the moment. I'm pinging some bait, they're having that. Blah, 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 blah. Things are happening. So, um, just got to keep at it now and hope that I can work my way back into the frame. A bit missed a bite there. Just missed a bite. It's a very fast bite.
keeping your rhythm going. If you get into some sort of rhythm that catches your fish, you massive. You come out of that rhythm, it's surprising how much of a difference your catch rate changes. And you just have to cut a stick at it until the fish move you out of the rhythm, like they just get funny or they get picky or... You start missing bites or they just stop biting and then that's your rhythm goes then and then you know it's time to move or time to do something different. Just been sort of lifting the just the lifting the float out of the water on the bites. Trying to keep the bread on for a couple of couple of puts. It's been working. I feel like there's loads of roach out there at the moment. Yeah, I'll just lift it slowly. No, just about to say it. Look at that. It's like, I, like I'm jinxed. Here comes a roachy. Right, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to keep in your rhythm.